which is used for, for the players, families and things and whoever isn't involved in the game. Um, this is going to be where we'll be or, or next door in the other box. Um, I'm currently joined by one of the most loyal supporters I've ever met um, is Lisa Boker here. Uh, she's, uh, she's actually been here today um, dealing with, uh, with all the brambles that we've got growing um, growing in the, in the bushes and stuff and, and in the stand. So, um, this is this is Lisa, everyone. Uh, she's um, I'm just going to just going to sort of ask her a couple of questions, really, um, about how she how she grew into the club and, and sort of how she how she started off and, and what she what she sort of what do, what it does that keeps her coming back, really. So, Lisa, um, when was the what was the first game? Uh, what was the first sort of year that you came? It was Chester. We were playing Chester, um, the second of March, two thousand and nine. And we'd won tickets to come, okay. and that night I got hooked, and I've yeah. been back since. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, who, who would you say, um, who, who sort of comes with you on a on a match day? Well, it's always me and Hannah Styles and Harry Hughes um, sort of comes with us on a lot of the away okay. games. Um, but when I first started, it was my third son Daniel, and then his younger brother James. Um, but they got to 14, 15, drifted yeah, off like they do. As you do, as you do. Um, of course. But Hannah and uh, me, she's like my adopted daughter, we go everywhere together. Um, That's good. Yeah, we've uh, not missed a game for a very, very long time. No, I, I was just sort of, um, while, I was, while I was waiting for you to come up, I, I was thinking, I haven't seen, uh, she's been to sort of every, every home game that I've been at, so it must have been quite a long time. Um, it's actually on, at Cambridge, when we play Cambridge in a few weeks' time, with my 200th consecutive league game. Wow, so, so you guys, that's the, that's the sort of commitment that, uh, that we're looking for, um, especially if you want to be involved with this kind of programme, um, to keep it running, running, it needs that kind of commitment. So if you are interested, then then you know how to contact me. But I'll uh, I'll tell you that after after we've finished. Um, so I suppose the next question is, um, who who was sort of like the first player you sort of saw and thought, wow, I think he epitomises the club. Gareth Hayden. Well, that's it, isn't it? Um, <laughs> that's that's going to be uh, that's the first one, ladies and gents. So um, we'll see how many votes he gets um, at the end of the season, and and we'll see if. Uh, We'll see if we can get something sorted for him to, to sort of uh, epitomise that that sort of commitment that he that he's shown to the club. Um, of course, he's risen from from player. I think he was on loan from us at start at the start of the seat, uh, start of uh, or the end um, when we're in League One, 2010, I think it was. He came on loan in November 2009, so not long after I started. Yeah. I myself. So That's he's true. been here the same amount of time I have. Yeah. Um, so yeah, literally that's um, and he's risen from from sort of being a player that's on on loan at the club and and has sort of risen all the way up to take the dizzy heights of being being the manager of this great football club. Um, and he's doing such a bang up job, uh, bang up job, taking us to Wembley last year. Uh, it was the first time I ever went to Wembley um, last year, and uh, sadly we didn't quite win. Um, but who knows? We we might get there. Might get there without Wembley this year um, after the start we made. Um, so apart from apart from sort of Gareth Ainsworth and, and all that kind of that connection that he has with the fans, uh, what sort of what qualities do you think he has as, as a that makes him such a, a well liked person within the club and, and the fans? His, his passion, commitment. Um, he's a nice guy. Um, he cares. You can see the emotion mm. in him. Yeah. Um, and he's always had a really good connection with fans. Um, his music sense isn't too great, but we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll keep that. Have you ever heard him sing? He's a good singer. <laughs> oh, he's, he's definitely a good singer. Heard yeah. him sing a few times, but um, yeah, he's, he's the all-round package. Good. Um, and we're very, very lucky to have him. Yeah, um, hopefully he'll be with us um, for quite a few years yet before he gets snapped up. So, touch wood. Um, 
So, yeah, literally, um, if we talk about last year uh, yeah. and, and the season that we had last year, um, what, what were your thoughts really about sort of where we've come from, the dizzy heights of, of sort of Wembley and, or, or even the previous season before that sort of teetering at the bottom of, of the table and, and just about surviving relegation? I think when I saw the players Gareth was bringing in at the beginning of last season, mm. um, I was I think I even predicted a Wembley final um, for the playoffs right at the beginning of the season. I was spot on because I could see the quality mm. and yeah. him then making it his <clears throat> own team and getting rid of some players, let's say that weren't. You know, we won't mention any names. No, of course. Yeah. Most people know who I dislike. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Um, and you can see that those players wanted to play for him, wanted to play for the bags, wanted to play for the fans. And yeah. even this season, it's it's gone that one step beyond. And uh, I can see it's going all the way, being champions. Mm. I really, really can. How much? Um, there's been a lot made of sort of the pitch size. Um, what What are your views on? On the pitch size, whatever that. works. If that's yeah. what works for Gareth and the lads, then it's fine by me. Um, okay. I mean, the pitch looks incredible, anyways. Yeah, um, I, I have heard it sort of being used, uh, or the phrase being used that it was like a car park last yeah. year. So, um, but we'll take that word for that. Uh, we'll take their word for that. So, because uh, we don't want to quite uh, sample that ourselves. Um, but uh, it definitely looks uh, picturesque behind us here, and, and obviously the groundsmen are sort of working tirelessly. Even when there's uh, when there isn't a game, um, it's it looks absolutely brilliant, um, and, and I can't wait to uh, to see what to see what happens this year. Okay, so uh, the next question uh, for Lisa is uh, we can we can sort of see um, or we might not be able to see it um, quite clearly is. You're covered in paint. Uh, let's put it uh, put it nicely. You're covered in paint. Um, what exactly is it um, that you, you sort of do um, for people who don't know what you do? Well, we've got a group of volunteers run by John Durban. Okay. Um, I'm on a sort of like a head volunteer. I'm up here two days a week on a Tuesday and Thursday. And we've done the car park lines. We've done all the yellow hatchings. We've done um, the paint and the concourse at the moment up in okay. St Adams. Um, gardening or clearing brambles or whatever whatever they want us to do, um, yeah. we, we get given jobs and we do it and it saves the club money. Of course. How much um, how much time does it sort of take up for, for people who are, who are interested um, in sort of what you guys do and, and how long it takes? Like, how much time do you sort of take out of your, your schedule? Well, I'm very lucky because I work um, early hours, so I work between three and half past eight, uh, five and half past eight in the morning. Okay. So it leaves my days free. Um, so I come up here half past nine till three o'clock on a Tuesday okay. and Thursday, and we have work parties on the um, Sunday. And in a few weeks, we'll be clearing all the banks and all the brambles and everything all the way around. So okay. that's the next mission. But anybody who wants to volunteer, they know where I am on Facebook. Of course, yeah. Um, you can always get hold of John Durban. Yeah. Um, if uh, if you don't uh, if you don't sort of have any any of the contact details for anyone, um, it will be you can contact myself and I'll, and I'll sort of tell you about about that at, at the end of the video. Um, and you can also sort of comment below if you're interested. Um, the the final sort of question I want to ask you is in, in uh, five years time, where do you see this club? Where where sort of state or not state, but what what sort of vibe do you think this club will have? I think this club can go as far as a spell in the championship but I think we're going to be a very very good League One club okay. but I can see us making the championship whether we bounce back down I don't know but I think we're becoming financially more stable on the pitch off the pitch um, the quality of the management the players the chairman um, I know people are going to laugh but I really can see us Going that step. Yeah, I mean, we were, we have been sort of very close uh, when we've been in League One. We we have uh, literally only just stayed up by the skin of our teeth. But I think every time we've been in League One, and I'm sure you can agree, um, we've we've sort of picked it up at the wrong. We sort of got in got form at the wrong moment. Yeah. Um, it's always sort of been um, like right at the end of the season that we that we sort of pick the form up. So if we can potentially do well this year. Um, Top six, maybe top three this year, uh, especially with the way we've started. Um, 
if we can get into League One, then see what happens. Yeah, I know. See what happens. But it's very exciting, whatever's going to happen. Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, it's a good and it time will keep... to be a Wickham Wanderers. Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Um, just one, one very, very last question. If you can, if you wanted to to say something to the supporters, uh, or if you want, if there's a message that you wanted to to give the supporters, what would it be about about the club in, in general? Just keep coming, stay positive, and uh, trust in Gareth Ainsworth. The mighty Gareth Ainsworth. Yeah. Okay, well that's uh, that's it for, for today. Um, thank you very much, Lisa. That was absolutely brilliant. Um, if you want to be interviewed uh, by myself or, or you want to have anything to do with this programme, uh, please contact me uh, on Facebook, Liam O'Rourke, or Twitter, at Liam OAce35. Um, and you can also comment below and, and we can also sort of uh, get in touch with you that way. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, hi guys, I'm here with Lisa again um, in the standing end, uh, the Buxton University stand at Wickham Wanderers, uh, in her exact spot where she stands on a match day. Uh, of course, I'm all the way over there, so uh, but I can still see her when she when she's here on a match day. Uh, and of course, <laughs> never misses a game either, so uh, so we can always find where she is. Um, she she recently did a skydive actually to to raise funds for the club. Is yep. that correct? Yeah. Um, do you want to just sort of elaborate on, on how that came about and and how it felt when you did it and, and what you felt afterwards and? It all stemmed from when we did the Snowden climb um, the year before last. Yeah. And I thought, well, what can I do next? Um, and the skydive um, that was how my idea. How much did the How much did the Snowden one? We raised two thousand seven hundred fifteen between the three of us. Okay. And then the skydiver raised 2,500 just on my own. Wow, you guys, that's um, the commitment. And it was just the most amazing feeling, uh, moment, proud to wear the shirt. It was, it was incredible. I think I, I remember watching the video actually, and, and you said you'd do it again. Or you, oh, want, you wanted to do it again. It's just so uh, expensive. Soon, literally, literally, <laughs> as, as soon as she, uh, as soon as she finished, guys, she said, oh, "I want to do it again." Um, but uh, you know, it is expenses, so. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, if if she hopefully she wants to she wants to do some more things for the club as well. So so we'll see what comes of that. Um, and that's it really. Um, that was that was my last question. Uh, this is Lisa Boker, and uh, thank you very much for watching, guys.